When I learned about option trading, my life changed forever. It was like the earth moved under my feet. I found a new way to make money on a monthly basis that wasn't dependent on employees, on tenants, or anyone else except my own hard work, education, and decisions. In this video, I share my top three favorite ways to use options to put money in my pocket every single month. These three option trading strategies are all ones I'm currently using, but the last two are my favorites. My third favorite strategy to generate consistent monthly cash flow using options is to do some type of spread. A spread is simply an option position where you sell an option, but you also buy an option along with it. Usually the one you bought is for some type of protection. Here you see an example of a spread type of position we're currently in in Costco. It's called an iron condor. We sold the February 16th $715 call option and bought that same expiration day $730 call option for protection. We then simultaneously sold the same expiration day February 16th $610 put option and bought the $595 put option for protection. In all for this iron condor, we pocketed $3.04 per share or $304 minus commission. Iron condors are a good option trading strategy to use to generate consistent monthly cash flow, especially if you believe a stock or ETF is going to be stuck in a range. Remember, we sold the $610 cash can put option, which gives someone the right to sell us this stock at $610 anytime before expiration. But we also sold the $715 call option. Now that call option is so far out of the money that's not even showing up on the chart because Costco is currently trading for right around $682 per share. But you see, it was a pretty wide range where Costco could end up between now and expiration before either our short call option or short put option is challenged. So we pocket a nice premium for this option position and we have a wide margin of error. That's one of the benefits of trading options. If structured properly, you can actually be wrong in what you think a stock will do and still get a 100% win. Another type of spread trade I like to do is known as a poor man's cover call. That's where you own a longer term option, in this case, a call option, and you sell a shorter or near term call option against it. In this case, we've been sweetening the pot in this poor man's cover call by selling an additional cash care put option against Apple. So here you see our overall Apple position. When a poor man's cover call, we're also selling cash secure put options against it. A poor man's cover call is good to do on a stock or ETF that you have a neutral to bullish position on. It can be a really nice way to generate some consistent monthly cash flow while also lining yourself up to benefit from underlying stock price appreciation. Here you see what I mean by that. This is an Excel spreadsheet. We've kept track of all the trades we've done in Apple over the past several years. The shaded blue rectangles are the option positions we're currently in. We own the January of 2025 $165 call option, and we sold the February of 24 $170 call option. That option expires in about four weeks. And just as a sweetener, we've also sold the February 175 cash care put option. I've now inputted the value of what these options will be worth about a month from now when the two February options expire. But notice in the bottom right that overall over the past several years by doing poor man's cover calls and selling some put options against Apple as well, we've been able to pocket over $6,100 Poor man's cover calls and cover calls have some similarities, but there's also some differences. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about poor man's cover calls and how you can use them to consistently generate monthly cash flow, as well as benefit from some stock price appreciation, check out the video series at the link above, and I'll have it in the description below at the end of this video. So using various types of option spreads is a nice way to consistently generate monthly cash flow. Now let's move on to my second most favorite way I like to use options to generate consistent monthly cash flow, and that's by selling covered calls. Now a covered call is simply where you own at least 100 shares of a stock, and you sell someone a call option against the stock you own. That gives them the right to call the stock away from you if it's advantageous for them. However, to give them that right, they pay you a premium for that call option that you sold them. And here you see a cover call we did less than a week ago in our small option trading account. We bought to open 100 shares of CAG and simultaneously sold one call option contract of CAG at $28 per share. Here you see one of the nice things about covered calls. You can structure them in almost any way you want. For example, here, I want a little protection in case CAG came down in price. And so to give me some protection, while also pocketing some option premium, I sold an in the money covered call. But as you see here, in addition to the potential 25 cents per share we can make if this call option is assigned, we're also lined up to potentially receive the dividend. CAG goes ex-dividend in just under two weeks from now, and if we still own the stock on the ex-dividend date, then we'll also get an additional 35 cents per share. Cover calls is a great way to consistently generate monthly cash flow by selling call options against stock that you own. And I have a whole video series dedicated to cover calls so if you'd like more information on that, I'll leave a link above and down in the description below so you can check out that cover call video series once you 
are done with this video. Here you see the trades I've done in my small option trading account. This account has under $40,000 available in it, but we're still able to have a nice diversified cover call option trading portfolio by doing cover calls in lower price stocks. Here you see that recently we did the one in CAG that I shared with you just a minute ago. We also did one in Campbell Soup and another one in Verizon. Cover calls is a strategy I like to use, especially in accounts where I don't get much interest on the cash that I have sitting in that account, which is the case here with my small option trading account. The third way I like to generate consistent monthly cash flow by using options is to sell cash secure put options or bullish put credit spreads against stock that I feel comfortable owning if it came to that. Now our goal is not to own these stocks, it's to roll or close out these cash care put options and keep that capital during consistent monthly cash flow. However, I only trade put options in companies that I feel comfortable with their current stock price as well as the strike price put options that I'm selling in case they were assigned to me. I'll share with you three examples here of companies we've been trading cash care put options in over the past several years to give you an idea of the kind of cash you can generate by selling put options. Please remember that my position sizing only allows me to have at most 5% of my capital I have set aside for that account at risk in any one position. And in reality, I try to only have around 2 to 3% of the overall capital I have in that account set aside for option trading at risk in any one position. So the three positions I'm about to show you at the time I was trading them were less than 5% of the capital I had at risk in that account. Here you see the trades I've done over the past several years in GILD. And as I scroll through this spreadsheet, please keep in mind this is the cash flow we generated by selling cash care put options. And this stock, it was assigned to us for a little while, so we did also do a few covered calls in it. But notice down here in the bottom right in the yellow box that over the past several years, we've pocketed over $10,000 in just this one stock, GILD, from selling cash care put options and doing a few covered calls in it as well. If you average that out, over the average five contracts we've been selling against it, it equates to over $21 per share profit in GILD. Here you see another stock we've been trading a lot of options in over the past several years, and that's AMGN. Now as I scroll through here again, Notice the profit we've pocketed in just this one position over the past several years. We've pocketed almost $8,000 in net option premium by selling cash care put options and on occasion doing some cover calls against it when the put option was assigned to us. Now if we didn't want those put options assigned to us, we could have always rolled those cash care put options, but on occasion, if it's advantageous, then I will let a cash care put option be assigned to us and turn it into a cover call until that cover call is called away from us. Notice that with Amgen in the bottom right here, that we've been able to pocket almost $80 per share from the on average one contract we've been selling against it. Now keep in mind, we're not in these positions all the time. We pick advantageous opportunities to sell options in them, but overall, the ones I'm showing here are ones we've been in a lot over the past several years. The third stock I wanna share with you, we've traded a lot in over the past several years, is CME. But notice here in the bottom right, that over the past several years, we've pocketed almost $8,300 by selling options against CME. When you do the math, that's right at $82 per share on average for the one option contract we've been selling against it. So you see three of my favorite option strategies I use to consistently put cash flow in my pocket every single month. These three are not the only option strategies I use. I also use other techniques such as risk reversals and ratio spreads, but these are the three main strategies I use to consistently put cash flow in my pocket every single month. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, Check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. The last three positions were ones in which we sold a lot of cash care put options, but on occasion, we let them be assigned to us and turn them into a covered call. That's what's known as the option wheel strategy. If you'd like to see how you can use the option wheel strategy to consistently put cash into your pocket every single month, check out the video at the link above and the description below entitled, Does the Option Wheel Strategy Work? Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.